greetings everyone, I hope you're well. My name is Nick, we're going to be reviewing a Atari 2600 game. This one's called Mega Mania, published by Activision in 1982 and designed by Steve Cartwright. It's heavily influenced by the arcade game Astro Blaster, if you're aware of that, from Sega in 1981. Yes, it's a single screen space shooter where you must survive as long as you possibly can and destroy the alien waves before your energy level, represented by that red-yellow thing in the middle, goes down to zero. This is my first go, don't expect expert gameplay, uh, let's see how we get on. So first of all then, we've got a fairly uh, normal wave of uh, like cyan -y green type things going across. We've got a ship down the bottom that doesn't look too dissimilar from the Starship Enterprise, so obviously it's been influenced by that as well. Points down the bottom, Activision. Slightly above that, you've got your three ships there, the lives, and you see the energy level, uh, represented by that yellow horizontal line, slowly go down. Uh, going uh, well down to zero so you can die by either that running out or you getting shot by the enemy and I've destroyed wave one this is my first ever go dodgy gameplay nonsense chat now it looks like we're being attacked by some cheeses here if you had this game back in the day let me know I believe it was reviewed on various Atari uh, systems uh, this is the uh, the earliest one Oh, this is a bit naughty. They're all oh, right, okay. So they're coming right down the bottom. We've got to try and learn the uh, uh, attack wave. I've been told that the attack waves and aliens are very similar, if not identical, to Astro Blaster. Uh, so we'll see. A design by Steve Cartwright. Well done, him. Right, okay. So as a noobie noob, then, I've got past the first wave, and now I'm attacking the second wave. Always interesting to see what these aliens look like in these games. Uh, yeah, this time, a big block of cheese. And what could be scarier than that? I don't think the Starship Enterprise was attacked by a big block of cheese in any of the episodes, either the original series or the next generation, or any of the ones after that. So my energy's run out and the ships have evaporated into space dust. If you've been evaporated into space dust, then comment in the comment section below. Don't expect anything normal here in the commentary. Yes, here we go. It's played for fun. Um, not for expert gameplay, as I say, play for fun with stress busting there as you would have done around a friend's house if you went round there. This has been played due to a recommendation, so if that was you that recommended it, then thank you very much. It's a good one. Biff, biffity bap, right, okay, so that's the next wave done. What's coming up next? Now, as a kid, I think I would have gone back to this quite a lot because it's well put together, it's fun, I like the sounds of the thing, and um, you just want to see what wave comes next. There's four game modes. Now this is uh, game mode one. Game mode two is this again, but two players uh, played, well, back to back. You don't play simultaneously. They've got a green ship, I think. Mode three is exactly the same again, but you don't have these guided uh, lasers. And when I say guided, when I fire and go left and right, the uh, the red laser moves with me. So you can like, guide them a little bit to try and get there. Uh, the other mode, it doesn't do that, I think. Right, okay. And then, of course, mode four is exactly the same as that, but with two players. So four modes of play, but the aliens are going to be the same each time. Oh, uh, that's a bit tricky. Cool, man. Right. So, yeah, so I got bot there. I like this game. This is good. If you're liking your Atari 2600 stuff, we've reviewed quite a few now, all in a playlist. To get there, click on my username, uh, then it takes you to the channel page, and then um, click on playlist tab. And you will see uh, the playlist there, Tire Church 100 and other stuff. On the channel page, you can see all my support stuff. So um, uh, I think there's a members icon, um, the, the tip jar, which is uh, Kofi or the PayPal giving thing. Um, any of like that is greatly received as we try and continue on. And a huge thank you to the members as we try and destroy these green bolt things in space. Aliens are weird, we know this. Don't expect them to be normal. Star Trek, the old series, with Kirk, Spock, uh, Bones McCoy, uh, that woman with the blonde hair, uh, Yeoman something or other, and also uh, uh, Scotty, mm -hmm, who wasn't a dog actually, despite his name. He wasn't a sweet dog. Right, Bib, I'm getting a long way here. What's next? I'm excited. What's next? Now it's. Uh, these weird stampy stampy things right okay it looks like they're moving in formation keep in formation uh, right okay now I'm, I'm hemmed in here I must have probably done this wrong then uh, in two player modes as I say the uh, player two's um, ship is green it's a green size enterprise I, I, yeah, I've took off the uh, rear near nacelle 
Right, okay. So, when you die, you don't have to start from scratch again. You're just left with the ones you haven't shot yet, which is quite nice. So, I've got three columns of stuff here. And I think it's obvious if you don't get in to destroy one of them before the column descends, you are trapped in and in big trouble. Oh, come on. Come on, Eileen. Biff. Right, see, now I've got no chance of getting to the other side before my uh, my energy is depleting back to zippity doo -dah. Uh, right, well, I'm getting there quickly now. See, it's descended already. And uh, if I went in there to try and break that line, I'm going to get hit by some of the other stuff. So there is some tactics involved. Astro Blaster, 1981 from the arcades. This, uh, 1982, a year later. And that's it, I think. Let's put it into two-player mode then. Just to show you that green ship, if it does actually happen, then I might have to zip out because I'm not doing two players all the way through. There we go, there's the four modes. One, two, three and four. Uh, go, go. Nostalgia. I hope someone's getting some memories from watching this. It's a great name for a game as well. Mega Mania. Not Mega Man. Mega Mania. They put I and A on the end. Right. So, you know, exactly the same again. Player one, away he goes. Shooting these weird UFO things. Which, well, they are sort of like attacking a little bit, but mainly they're just flying bursts. There's probably people on their way to work or something. And the Starship Enterprise has got involved trying to blow them up, which isn't very friendly. So maybe it, maybe it's the Enterprise that, uh, you know, has uh, caused the trouble in the first place. Oh, oh man. Come on. Right. boo da boo da boo da boo da boo da boo Next level. It's the cheeses. The cheeses are attacking. Oh, what's, the, what's the scariest cheese? I suppose it'd be Edam. Maybe. Frankly, my dear, I don't give Edam. Oh, maybe it's Gouda. Or maybe it's one of the others. I read a story about Swiss cheese once, but it was full of holes. Right, uh, here's the green ship, and um, well, it's, well, I haven't got a, I haven't got a second joystick connected, so he's stranded. So let's get out of there. Let's get back into one player. We're on safer ground then. Right, this is my this is my proper go now. After after having a practice go, I, I should be an expert after one go. Let's destroy these aliens. I don't know how many waves there are, but I presume the game never ends. I suspect when you get to the uh, well, the last graphics it has to offer I bet it loops round to uh, stage one again apparently if you've got a certain score you could send a screenshot or a photo off and you've got some sort of emblem saying how great you are sent back to you in the post but uh, easy to photoshop that nowadays but there was no such thing then right, let's, just, let's try and get a bit further then let's go as far as we can it is an addictive game and uh, it is interesting as well the enemy uh, wave patterns uh, remember, back in this sort of era, people were getting used to like uh, space invaders. Uh, there, was the, the enemies stayed pretty much where they were. Uh, Galaxians, where a few come down the screen. Here, they're all coming down the screen like madmen. So, obviously, influenced by um, space invaders and Galaxian, where it goes in its own direction. Astro Blaster, this Mega Mania. Don't know why this wasn't called um, uh, Astro Blaster, but uh, you know, maybe it's a licensing thing. And it's not to get confused with the other game that came out on the Atari Sound, which was called Astro Blast. Which is something completely different. Uh, you, you take the role of the, uh, of the aliens, I think, destroying our uh, our tanks and emplacements. So have a look at Astro Blast, but that's nothing to do with Astro Blaster. Yes, right. We can take out these green Lego grip type things. Right, one left. Biff. We're happening. We're speeding along. Gas Mark 5 right now. Don't know what these things are. You, you can, might be able to tell us what they are, but they're green, bluey, cyan things again. Nice, ple nice, pleasant sound. No, no pixels when the things explode. They just, they just disappear. But I quite like that. No messing. Oh, boob. Atari Twenty Six Hundred makes some great earthly sounds. I love them. Right. Okay. How many we've got left here? Don't mess up. Let's just try and get a bit further than we did before. But the, uh, the guiding lasers are interesting. As I say, we don't want to do those. Have a look at mode three. This is mode one. Road one, mode one, route one. Plenty of energy left. Interesting when they go from one side of the screen to another. Right, okay, so these are the boys we had last time. The green bolt fellas. God, I'm not doing very well. Is this, is this the last life left? Maybe I won't get past this. Maybe I'm getting gradually worse. It would be a, um, before we got to those yellow, yellow column guys, didn't we? So... I don't know if I'll get to them again, but uh, you never know. You never know. Wish me luck. Maybe we will do. As I play in my newbie newbie style in deep space versus various aliens of weirdness. If you are a various, well, if you are an alien of weirdness, you'd have to be all of them. Then comment in the comment section below. 
Uh, what do you look like? Please describe. Are you a green bolt person or are you something else entirely? Maybe lay me a lion's head with a peddler on the back uh, with a blue haircut. Right, uh, right now. We know before, didn't we? We've got trapped between the corals. We don't want that to happen again. It looks like it's going to happen again. Oops, it happened again. Right, we're taking out two columns. Well, we've got a space between the two columns. Right, so we've just got one tricky column there. It looks like we gained an extra life somewhere. Maybe that's when we got over 10,000 points or 12,000. I didn't notice. I was playing. You let me know. Let me know in that good old comment section. Create a bit of activity for me. Um, there, yes. You might be uh, going through the whole playlist uh, there, the Tytrix 600. If so, then well done. Anyone that's gone through any playlist ever is, is, is my friend and superstar. I don't think anyone apart from me maybe in the edit has watched every video in its entirety. If you have, well that's incredible. It'll probably take about, you know, three months to do constantly. No one's got dead time. 17520. Right, okay. Right, we're further than we got before. We're versus the Bowtie Clan. Uh, the Bowtie Clan. They're not TIE Fighters, they're the Bowtie Fighters. We're Bowtie Fighters, that's, that's a good name. A bit of copyright dead. So that's like a pinky red colour. I've taken one to the ship here. Last life left. Come on, let's destroy the bow tie people from hell. Don't know where they are. Right from Hull. Hell or Hull, they're very similar. Right, okay, only two left now. Don't mess up me. Biff. Oh, one left. Wouldn't it be annoying if I got shot now? Well, I haven't been shot now. I'm on to the next stage. What's next? Exciting factor 12. Oh, God. A meteor shower, I think. Or something. Oh, man. Right, okay, so do we have to take all of these out? Don't know, probably. Or do, do we just need to survive a certain amount of time? I like this stage. The meteorites do look like they're spinning as well. The asteroids. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Don't hang around. This is my... Oh, that was close. Come on, come on, come on. I think this is the last one. Right, so what have we got? About three others? Biff? One left? Oh, it turns out a different part of the screen each time. There we go. Yes! Oh, yes, this is a great, great game. Now, these boys again, but this time they're in purple. It's the purple mob off, off to work. But they do stop periodically, or slow down periodically, to try and give me a good pacing. They're not firing anything of any great consequence, as long as I, they don't come down the screen and beat me. Oh, look at that. Is that it? No, this is the last life. Right, last life left. 28,200 points. Stick that in your car boot. Right. Purple. Lilac. There's only two left. Come on, let's see the next wave. Let's see the next wave. The game to be about 10 minutes. I think I've already been playing longer than that, so I'm obviously enjoying myself. What's up, Nick? Right, all right, the cheese has gone green this time. Oops. Yeah, this looks like a tricky one to negotiate. I must have got an extra life there as well somewhere. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's getting a bit tricky from there on in. Well, I really like that game. Uh, good alien waves, good graphics on it, good sound, addictive gameplay, and not overly difficult to begin with. So an awesome game and great recommendation. Thank you very much. Hope you liked having a look at that game. That was Mega Mania on the Atari 2600, published by Activision in 1982, designed by Steve Cartwright and influenced by Astro Blast from the arcade from Sega in 1981. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, by all means, put that in the comment section below. I'm very grateful. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. Space Dust. If you've been evaporated into space dust, then comment in the comment section below. Don't expect anything normal here in the commentary.